9 inch, clearly. Now 5 inch. So, um, wow, is what I'm going to say. Sure. Very simple person. Um, this thing is super impressive. Mm. Uh, I have used this, I think we've had it way too long. Yeah. Um, I've been using this for about six months yeah. uh, at home and at work. And for AEG's Fusion, which they now, Fusion Tools, yeah. they're saying, hey, these are legit. They're the duck's nuts. Yeah. We're not mucking around. Um, that is a very impressive five inch grinder yes. uh, to be using. On a, on a regular basis. It really is. Um, so we did a grinder comparison of five inches, I don't know, six, seven months ago, yeah, something like that. Not long before we got this. No, that's right. Unfortunately, we had AJ's previous brushless model in it, yep. which did fine, but you know, wasn't in the top few. Yep. Um, this one would have been in the top few. This thing would have done really well. Yeah. It is a brute. Yeah, it is. I, I, I would really disappointed on that. You got caught out on a number before, so I'm very happy. Duano got caught out on the number, make record of it. Didn't happen. What's the, it did so, what's the RPM of this? 11,000 RPM. Yeah. So I said to Mike, what's the RPM? Uh, it'll be 9,000, doesn't really matter. Anyway, grabbed the tool, 11,000 RPM. That's 2,000 RPM more than all the other cordless units. Yeah. They all range between 8.5 and 9.5. And Which is going to be wicked for stripping paint and stuff off. Oh, for cutting through thin stuff as yep. well. Yep. Um, so... I don't know how they've got that extra 2,000 RPM in there, in their motor, what they're doing differently. Yeah. But it shows. Yep. I hadn't noticed it myself. I didn't say to you at any stage, wow, this thing is fast. Mm. But as soon as we picked up another couple and just pressed triggers, yeah. audibly, you can hear the difference. Right. Really, really cool. Yeah. So it's a monster in power. And uh, this is going to be one of those kind of <coughs> lopsided reviews where we love this tool. We've got some things to say about that. Yep. There's nothing really that we want to pick on for this tool. It's very, very hard. Um, the, to, yeah. It's got a nice guard. Guard um, works really well. It's an exposed spring, which you saw right. an eh, exposed spring, but it's a very smooth guard and had no issue. Whatever, yeah. You, you've got your easy flange here, so you yep. flick it up, undo it, and the mechanism works really well. It's fine. We love having a side, a side handle thread on the top, yep. so that when you're cutting, you can you know, be holding the tool like this. Yeah, it's more comfortable, and I think that's a good power position. Agreed. So, and I've always had a had a winch that companies didn't have it. Right. So when you're holding it like that, I think is it just brush and EG? You do it. Oh, brush I, I'm gonna make it look like a goose if I say yes. Oh, right. I think there's only one, which is the Bosch that did it. Yeah. So for now, let's say. Maybe. And you can correct us if we're wrong. Yeah. That Bosch and now AEG are the ones that do that, and I stink and love it, and don't understand why I don't all do it. They should all do it. That's the one good thing about this, not the only one good thing, but it's one good thing about Say what you feel, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's got it there as well, which for a nine inch, if if people don't have it on a nine inch, I'd be filthy as anything. Oh, because yeah. if I'm holding it on this, I absolutely want that mm. power position, especially since I'm a chicken and I don't particularly enjoy using nine inch. I just nah. think they're, they're outrageous. The really good thing on this is the rotating handle. So you literally under there, flick a button and rotate it around right. and it locks into there. So then you've got it upright and it, it just helps so you're not kicking your hand, or your hand on the side. Right, great feature. We both love the rotating head, especially on a big one. Yep. In fact, I'd take it on every grinder. Yep. 
Um, however, it did actually not fall into place a few times for us. No, correct. When we were playing around, just testing all the different things to go, okay, how does this work, how it doesn't it? But now on camera, it's just worked perfect oh, both perfect. times. Perfect. So, but it, it doesn't click in every time we find when we rotate it to yeah. the centre and it's just done it perfect again. Anyway, that's that's a really good feature of being able to spin that. I think, right. is it Metavo on their 9 inch? Are the only other ones that have got it? No, I'm going to look like a goose there. Others will have it, sure. but I've had it on my 240 volt Metavo for years yeah. and absolutely love that feature. So I like that. I love the handle in the top, absolutely. So they've done some really good things there to make it easy to use and yep. safe to use, which is really important. Yep. Because these things are dangerous. Yeah. So many places have banned these. They have. So it's um, odd that, well, I don't know, it feels odd that they're, they're putting research and money into a cordless line in. Actually. Because in Australia, yeah. you were saying tier one. All the tier one contractors have banned them pretty much. Yeah, right. All the union sites have banned them. Yeah, and I reckon we're, we're probably going to get some messages from Europe and from America going, you guys are out of control, no one uses them anymore. Yeah. I think they still have a place. You and I don't mind a nine inch for concrete cutting. That's why we both own one. Yep. You got the old Matabo, I got an old Bosch. Yep. And it's really just for concrete cutting. I don't want to be using this if I don't have to. No. Um, but we don't own a demo source, so you need that occasionally. To Correct. Out a bit and of I definitely needed it for a couple of concrete jobs, which you would have seen. Yep. Uh, I also gave it to Greg, my maintenance guy, to use on the trailer just to see how comfortable it was because he was doing a decent cut across the top. Yeah. He liked it. He said, oh, it's nice. Got plenty of power. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So then I said, okay, cool. If I didn't have that, what what would you do? Or if I left them both here, what would you do? He said, I'll pick up five inch again. These things have come so far yep. in, I don't know how many years, but five inch cordless grinders are absolutely incredible now. Yeah. You don't have to have a big nine inch for steel, yeah. unless you're doing out of control jobs. Yeah. But five inch, man, they are, they yeah. are really, really they're the, impressive. They're the bee's knees. And this is essentially an electric replacement. Uh, okay. You know, most people who own a grinder own an 800 watt or a 900 watt type grinder. Yep. Nothing too crazy. Yep. Obviously the guys who are doing metal work all day, um, you know, they might have a 1500 watt unit. Yep. You know, that's about this thick. And they want to run it all day. Right. Yep. But for most of us, we have a slimmer, more portable, lighter weight, you know, 800 watt grinder. Yep. This is a full replacement for us, an electric replacement. Yep. Whereas the big nine inch is not an electric replacement because it's nine not inches are 1800 watt plus. Yep. Um, and, and it's not going to keep up with those. No. So it's very much a convenience tool. Yep. Um, if you struggle to get a lead where you are or you don't want to drag around a generator. Yep. Absolutely makes sense. Once you a couple of bats on and you're But it's going to take longer. Yeah. So it's not going to replace a 2200 watt no. unit. Yeah. So so that's why we sort of come to an agreement that that's, that's good. Yeah. This is great. This is the hero of the story. Yeah. And the one out of the two that we we ended up focusing on because we were so impressed with it. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, I don't think we've got anything else to say really. What's no. the RPM on the big one? Oh, I didn't even check that. Let me have a little read, I've got no idea. 5,500. Okay, yeah, I can't even read. So 55, wow. So 5,500, I wouldn't mm. want to try and run that thing at 11,000. No, you never do. Because, <laughs> because it's, uh, the reason, by the way, that you'll notice that um, discs have a speed um, limit on them is that, um, and that there'll be, there'll be similar speed limits between the two discs but this one's running at 5500 is because a much bigger disc the outside speed of that disc yep. is a lot more um so this will actually run faster at the outside even on a 5500 yeah, yeah okay then this will so um totally normal to have a much lower rpm unit on a bigger on your big nine inch okay there you go no, another number that i didn't know <laughs> um all right so so look we, we think this is good the guard works well the change mechanism works well there's, there's a few good things on it. I don't think it's rear heavy. You looked at it and went, oh man, that's rear heavy. Hmm. It's not rear heavy. There's plenty of weight in the head. Yeah, there's a lot of weight in the head. It's just different to what it's you'd normally see. It's bulky because you're used yep. to a rat tail kind yep. of configuration for a nine inch. Yep. Whereas now you've got sort of a big, couple of big batteries at the back sort of banging into your hip. Yes. Um, but that's the price you pay for convenience. Yep, yep, absolutely. So um, so that is the one that we, we really like. Pair that with a forced battery Woo. and you've got, I think, A grade on top of A grade. Like this new three amp hour force HD high density. D, yeah. Um, which we are very keen to try. We just got that. Yep, I'm going to whack that straight on the grinder because I like slim batteries. <laughs> sure. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. Please go and check these out. Yep. Um, hit us up on Instagram. Yep. Like, subscribe, do all those yep. things that you know you should do. Yep, cool. Follow us, guys. Bye. Thank you.